Hagen Yardley. Did you know that our planet's oceans are in crisis? Life below water has sustained human civilization and development for millennia. Yet, human activities are annihilating the ecology of our oceans. They clean our air, produce more than 70% of the oxygen that we breathe, help feed the world, govern our weather, and provide a living for millions of people. In many parts of the world, marine ecosystems have been irreversibly damaged, and we have lost 50% of all marine life in the past 40 years. The ability for our oceans to continue to sustain life on Earth is at the brink of collapse. The biggest threats to our ocean's marine species are... We are removing marine life from our oceans at an unsustainable rate. In the past 50 years, human activities have decimated our ocean's top predators. Overfishing disrupts the marine food chain and causes a shift in the ocean's ecosystem, and the consequences extend to all living organisms along the chain. Illegal and destructive fishing practices include bottom trawling, bycatch, sonar, and the use of poison and explosives. The illegal trade in marine species is a lucrative business. Human greed drives this practice to satisfy our demands for exotic foods, trinkets, entertainment, pets, and cosmetics. Fragile marine habitats are the victims of dredging, chemical runoff, and inland dams. Bottom trawling is destroying seafloor life. Deforestation is creating erosion which sends silt into shallow waters blocking sunlight and affecting the ability of coral reefs to survive. Plastic waste, oil spills, carbon emissions, and toxic waste such as sewage, chemical fertilizers, pesticides, herbicides, and detergents all contribute to the decline in health of our oceans and their inhabitants. Each year, approximately 13 million tons of plastic ends up in our oceans, and thousands of marine species are killed when they ingest or become entangled in these plastics that litter our oceans. The burning of fossil fuels not only pollutes our air, it warms and acidifies our oceans, which absorb approximately 22 million tons of carbon dioxide each day, protecting us from global warming. Warming waters also drive entire groups of marine species toward cooler waters, which results in a loss of breeding grounds and affects the breeding success of marine species. Our oceans are acidifying faster than they have in approximately 300 million years. Acidification leads to a decreased ability for many marine species such as plankton to build their shells and skeletons. The loss of zooplankton would produce a cascade of extinction that affects species all the way up the food chain. Acidification also leads to the bleaching of coral which slows their growth and makes them vulnerable to algae, disease, and death. Our planet's marine species are sitting on the precipice of a mass extinction if we do not take action to avert such a catastrophe. Human activities are causing oceans to lose their ability to nourish and protect life within them, which in turn will be devastating for the life that depends on them. This encompasses all life on Earth, including yours and mine, but it is not too late to change the course that we are on. We all have the power to educate ourselves and others. We all have the power to be responsible citizens. We all have the power to change the way we think and act. We all have the power to spread the word. We all have the power to do something. And the worst thing we can do is nothing. If not me, then who? If not me, who? If not me, then who? If not me, then who?